Hello, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. Vibe coders, you will enjoy so much this video. Today, I'm going to show you how to deploy a Node.js application to production. Really to production server, not just running locally. Also, no code is needed. You ne don't need any technical knowledge to do that. Also, this is very helpful for other people also looking to deploy their Node.js applications to production. So. Today, I'm going to present you Cloudways by DigitalOcean. So this is the platform where you can manage web hosting built with intelligence. So it's really simple, few steps you need to apply and then you have your application up and running on production. So the good thing is with Cloudways, you can get three day trial with no credit card needed. So before diving into the technical details, let's first check what we will be deploying. So here I have a simple Node.js application with a landing page. So welcome to your app, get started and like few cards and with animations and so. Also the code is available in here. So this is the code for the application. And as you can see here, we have our server.js file. We have the readme, the package, package log, and also the index.html with the CSS included. Also, this project is available on my GitHub repository. I will leave you the link in the description of this video. So let's get back in here and go step by step. So the first thing we need to do is to log in to our Cloudways dashboard. So here you how you can just log in with your DigitalOcean account, link, LinkedIn, GitHub, Google, and so on and so forth, or simply use your email. So let's log in and then I will guide you step by step how to do that. I'm going to log in right now. I'm going to click login in here. So here, this is the first page where, where we will land in. So here we have the servers page, and then I will show you the rest step by step. But before moving there, here you can see a blog post by Cloudways how to deploy or like how to host a Node.js application on Cloudways step by step. So this is what we'll be using all together, but I will simplify the steps and make it easier and simpler for you. So here, the first thing that I will do, as you can see here, you have my project. So let's click on this and here I'm going to click and add a new project. So let's give it Node.js app, for example. Let's click create project. And here, if you have already applications, you can assign them. But for now, we don't want to assign anyone, but we want to start everything from scratch. So after creating the project, all we need to do is to create a server for that. So let's wait for the project to be created and then let's move on and create our server. So now the Node.js app has been created successfully. So as you can see here, I have uh, this Alibu project and now this is the newly created Node.js application. Then from this menu right here, you can see that you have that you have this menu and you have applications, servers, and projects. So let's go to servers. And as you can see, I have already one, but we will create a new server. So like you will start everything from scratch. So I'm going to click on add a server. Let's select an application. So as you can see here, we have WordPress, we have PHP, WooCommerce, and so and so forth. So our application is not an PHP application, it's a Node.js application. So all we need to do is to click on custom application. So let's select custom app. Let's give it a Node.js Node app demo, for example, and then a name for your server. So let's call it Node.js server like this. And here you can select the project where you want to, uh, to organize or like to assign this server. So let's select Node.js app. And here you have two options. You have the lightning stack and you have the hybrid stack. So let's go with the hybrid stack. And here I will simply um, select my server. So here we have different options like from digital option so to AWS and Google Cloud. So I will leave everything to default. And now if you scroll down here, you see like, like you have the basic or like the configurations for, uh, for your server. So I will leave everything as basic in here. One thing is really important is to select the location. So try to select the location, like the nearest location to your audience. So whether New York, Frankfurt, or like any anywhere else. So I will select Frankfurt for now. And as you can see here, you have an estimation of the hourly rate and also like the monthly rate. So for this configuration, you will be paying $54 per month, all right? For 
4 gigabytes of RAM, 80 gigabytes of disk, and also like uh, you have two core processors and four terabytes of bandwidth. So let's launch now. The server will take some time to be launched. So it's approximately seven minutes. So let's wait for the server to be up and running. And then I will go, I will continue and show you how to simply deploy your Node.js application to DigitalOcean. All right, so our server is up and running. When we click the server, we will go directly to the dashboard of that server, if we might call it this way. So here we have the master credentials, we have the IP, the public IP address, the username, password, and we can also launch an SSH terminal from here, or we can get from us, we get SSH public, public keys, so we can use them from our terminal. So let's get back to servers. And here you can see that we have applications tab. So when we click in here, we see that we have our Node.js app demo up and ready. So we click on it. And now for the more present moment, we don't have anything. Also, if you need to link a database, you have everything in here. You have the database name, the username and the password. So now what we want to do, we want to deploy our application. So there are several ways, but one of the easy ways that I honestly like is deployment via Git. So here, all we need to do is to generate an SSH key and then just click a button and then the application will be automatically deployed to our server. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First, I will click on generate SSH key. So this will generate an SSH key for, for me. And here, once it's generated, I can just click on view SSH. I will copy this one. Please do not use this key because I will just delete it after just after recording this video. So it will not be useful, just generate your own SSH key. So now let me show you how to add this SSH key to your GitHub. Just go to GitHub and then click in here, like on your profile picture and then settings. I will open this one in a new tab and then you have a menu called SSH and GPG keys. So let me zoom in so it's clear for you. So click on SSH and GPG keys and then click add new SSH key. So let's call this one Cloudways SSH, SSH key, for example. And then all you need to do is to paste the key that you just generated. Click on SSH and then you need to authenticate. So for my case, I will use my GitHub mobile for authentication. So let me just authenticate this one or authorize this authentication. And then, all right, approve. And now this one is approved. And once it is approved, we have our SSH key ready to be used. And then let's go back in here. So here we see that we have a Git remote address. We have branch and we have a deployment path. So where to get this Git remote address from? Just go to the Git repo. And here from this code or like from this button right here, you have HTTPS, SSH and GitLab, GitHub CLI. Select SSH and copy the URL. Now let's get back here and paste this one. Once pasted, click on authenticate to see if everything is fine or not, whether you pasted your SSH key correctly and so. So now everything is fine. Here, when you click or when you select branches, you will see all the branches that you have. For example, if meanwhile you create a new branch and you want to deploy that one, just click on fetch and it will fetch all the branches that you have for that repo. Once you have the branches, select the main branch or the branch you want to deploy. Here we have deployment path. So this is where you want to deploy your application. So by default, it's public underscore HTML slash. So let's use this default location. Now click on start deployment. So when you click on start deployment, it will start deploying your application to the server that we just created earlier. So now, as you can see, our application or the repo has been cloned and it's now ready and deployed. So now let's go back to this, uh, to this blog post. So here, these are the steps we already done. Log into Cloudways, launch PHP application. So this is what we already did. And now we need to set up our application. So there is something that we need to do. So for any, like for Node.js application, we need to do, or like we need to execute this one. All right, so you, we can we need to install Express, we need to install, uh, install all the dependencies. And then we need to create an HT access redirection rule. Because now if we go back in here, and then we go to access details, 
to see our application, it will automatically land to this default page. So also let's go back and see something else. If we go back to servers and then we click our server and now let's, let's launch an SSH terminal and I will show you what will happen exactly. So the SSH terminal will be launched in a new tab and then we can log in using this username and password. So I'll just go ahead and copy this one. So when you see this page, just click on advanced and then proceed to, uh, to this one. All right. So let's copy the username and then let's paste it in here. Now we need to provide the password. Let's copy the password, paste it as well. And now we should be connected or like we should connect to our SSH terminal. So something is wrong. Maybe I did not copy the correctly. Let's click again. Now I'm going to copy the username and the password. All right, so now we are connected. So here, let's just type ls. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit so you can see everything. So here we are under application. Let's say cd applications and then ls again. So here we see this ID. So this is our application ID. If you have multiple applications, you will see multiple IDs. So let's also go to this one and click ls once again. So here we have our config, git repo, logs and so on and so forth. And we also have this public HTML folder where we chose to deploy our application. So let's go to this public HTML and click LS. And here we see that we have all the files that we have from or that we cloned from our GitHub repo. So now we can go back in here and then we can follow the steps. So the first thing that we need to do is to run or like to install the dependencies. So here let's run npm install or npm i and this will pull all the dependencies for our Node.js application. All right, so again, if we do ls, now we can see the node modules folder. So our application is ready to be running. So then if we go back here and we say node and then server.js, this will start our application. But this application is available on localhost 300. So now if I go back in here, refresh this application, nothing will happen because what we need to do is to add this HD access file. All right. So the steps are here. So we can use cat.ht access or like touch or any command to create a file. So let me abort this one. So if I do touch.ht access and then ls again, now we see that we have our ht access file. So ls minus a, uh, sorry, minus a. And now we see here that we have our .ht access file. So now let's go ahead and copy all these lines in here. So to do that, let's use the vi command dot vi space dot ht access. And now then click on I, like the I letter to insert. And as you can see here, we are in insert mode. So let's go and copy these lines one by one. So paste this one, enter. And then let's copy this one and then enter. And let's copy the next one and then enter. Now let's copy the final, the final one and now enter. So here, once you're done, just command C to exit or like, all right. So now we let's also maybe check the, the content of our HT access file. And as we can see here, we have all, uh, all the, uh, all the lines that we copied from here. So let's also exit this one. All right, so let's go back in here. So now after copying, copy pasting the content of the HT access uh, file, there is something which is really important in here. So before testing the application, make sure that mod proxy is enabled on your server. For this, you will need to connect with Cloudway support. They will help you enable it in no time. So this is important in order to run or like this is the last, last step you need to do in order to run your application or like your Node.js application on Cloudways. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you find this one really helpful. Before we end this video, if you're new to my channel, just go ahead, hit the subscribe button and join me on my journey. So like I'm publishing weekly videos about coding, vibe coding, AI, software engineering, software, software implementation, and so on and so forth. So I would like to see you within my community. Thank you so much and see you in the next one.